we have developed the Innovatrium Institute for Innovation. And the object of the Innovatrium is to take the best and the brightest practitioners for innovation, the best professors and the best leaders and the best teachers of innovation, put them in a common spot and find the very best projects to get them to work on. There's a lot of things that come out of this. First of all, it becomes a proving grounds to figure out what practices are going to work and not work. It becomes a farm team to see who are our most promising innovators. It becomes an opportunity to conduct some research on figuring out what are going to be the next great practices for innovation. And most importantly, it's all done by working on real projects and getting real traction on those projects. The key to making Innovatrium work is really fourfold. We have high quality targets that we're trying to achieve. The object is less about this and more about that. So what we're looking for, obviously, is what? What we call quadrant one opportunities. What's growing fast and what's the fight that we might actually be able to win? Where are my blues? I don't know about you, I like winning. You like winning? You like yeah, I like winning. We have a very diversified group of deep domain experts and students who are learning from the deep domain experts. You have to have the capability to run the play. So moving to a new market may seem easy. Strategy is easy. Capability is hard. We take a lot of shots on goal, so these projects are going on a regular basis and we're seeing what works and what doesn't work. The only way we learn to do anything is through the iterative process. So here's the rule. Fail often, fail early, and I want to add, fail off Broadway. Don't fail on Broadway. Take your play to Buffalo. Fail off Broadway. And finally, and most importantly, we're doing a lot of after-action review where we're learning from these projects. We're creating an institutional knowledge. We're getting smarter. One of the subtle concepts is any time you solve a problem, you create a potential solution. The problem with companies is that they don't recognize that they can repackage that and turn around and sell it retail. We're simply collecting what we already know is a fact. And the reason we're doing that is we're going to try and build on the things that already work, and we're going to try not to go back to the things that don't work. We're moving out into the community around the world where we're giving them these tools and the opportunity to use these tools in businesses everywhere with everyone every day.